five, four, three, two, one. Hello, I'm Umiliana Binti Swandi, student from Faculty of Civil Engineering and Boot Environment, University Ton Hussein on Malaysia. I live in Kuala Berang, Terengganu, where it is the seat and largest town of Hulu Terengganu District. The town serves as a gateway to Lake Kenya. The historical Terengganu inscription stone was found near Kuala Berang in 1899. The town of Kuala Berang was the first capital of the modern Sultanate of Terengganu before moving to Kuala Terengganu. In this video, I will explain you the soil condition at my area. But first, let me explain you the type of soil. Soil are complex mixtures of mineral water, a organic matter and countless organisms that are the decaying remains of once living things. It forms at the surface of land. It is the skin of the earth. Soil is capable of supporting plant life and is vital to live on earth. People need soil to love. The land we live on is made of soil. We build our house on soil and we grow plants we can eat in the soil. Animals also need soil. Some small animals like rabbits and mice insects like ants as well as worms live in the ground. And most plants need soil to grow in. We are going to have a look at three different types of soil sandy soil, clay soil, and loam soil. Sandy soil If you are up some of the soil with your fingers, you will feel it. It is hard, dry, and sandy. It is easy for the wind to blow sandy soil away. If you pour water over sandy soil, the water run through it quickly and carries away some of the sand. Plants don't grow well in this light color swell. Clay soil Some soil feels like clay when you weave this kind of yellowish soil. It sticks together. You can form all sorts of clay like cups and bowls and clay animals. When it rains, clay hold the water for a long time and the plants that are growing in it get too wet. Loam soil Loam soil is the best soil for seeds and plants. It does not get too wet or too dry. It has enough food to keep plant growing. Loam is like a mixture of sand and clay soil but is usually darker in color. The importance of soil. Soil provides plants like essential mineral and nutrients. It provides air for gases exchange between roots and atmosphere. Soil protects plants from erosion and other destructive physical, biological and chemical activity. Soil holds water and maintains adequate ventilation. You will need your soil sample, some water, and a bottle. First, put the soil half of the bottle.
Second, add the water into the soil. And finally, mix them. Wait for two hours. Two hours later. As you can see, this is the result from our test. You can see that there is three layers of soil in this bottle. The top is the clay soil, the middle is seed soil, and the bottom is sand soil. From the calculation, we can see that the percentage of sand soil is more than the percentage of seed soil. Meanwhile, the percentage of seed soil is more than the clay soil. Based on our test, we can conclude that the type of soil at my area is sandy loam soil. That's all from me. Thank you for watching and don't forget to give a thumbs up. Bye.